Okay, in this video I'm going to try and show you how I synthesize sirens in Audacity. Uh, this video is kind of aimed at soccer, I mean, I mean, sorry, I mean 2001 scoop. Uh, in this particular video I'll be synthesizing an, a Federal Signal SD10. I'm going to make it a lot better than my previous synth. That was made like in 2009 when I was young and dumb. Now I've matured since then I've learned how to do it a little better. First thing you want to do is open Audacity and you want to have at least version 1.3.7. I have 1.3.15. You want a rather new version because you need the chirp generator to generate the wind up and wind down of the siren. I might have to split this into a two part video because the echo for applying the echo it takes two minutes to do it so at that point I'll just split it up there and just and I'll just let you hear it for yourself in the next video. I apologize for my primitive recording methods. Uh, my main laptop is dead, so I'm using an old laptop with Windows 2000 on it, so I don't have Windows Movie Maker on there. So, But the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the chirp generate. Go to generate chirp. Alright, now for an SD10, you want it to be sawtooth. Well, and you don't want the amplitude to change at all. Actually, you do. You want to get a little louder as it goes. Have the starting amplitude like 0.4 and the end be 0.8. Uh, this is going to be the high tone of the SD10, so make it go to 690, 100 to 690. And it should let. I'll be fair and make it five seconds. Let's see what that sounds like. I think that's a little too slow. I'll, I'll shorten it to about three seconds. Just keep playing along until you find out what you think is right. I think that sounds about right. Alright, next thing you want to do is just create the steady tone of the siren. Now I am making an SD10 in here, but the pr but the procedure sewn will work for most other sirens. 2T22, uh, basically any other siren out there. Alright, so we're just having this be a 60 second alert cycle. That sounds like a 2001 at the moment, but that's not the siren we're emulating. Go to the end of the synth, go all the way to the end, and click on the end here. Go back to the chirp generator. This time you want it to go 690 all the way down to zero. amplitude it doesn't matter because you're going to fade it out anyway. You want the interpolation to be logarithmic. I don't know how to pronounce that. And you want it to last about 75 I'll make it 75 seconds. Yeah, that sounds good. Right here, though, when it starts to kind of slow down, it'll start going blub, 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 blub. Now, it does do this in real sirens, but it doesn't do, do it to such a great extent as this thing does. Yeah, when it gets to about here, just cut that off. Because that's not going to be audible for 10 miles like the real, like the siren at full peak. Alright, so now this is your raw synth right here. But this is going to be an SD10. An SD10 has a port ratio of 9 and 12. This is the 12 port side. What you want to do now is highlight your uh, your uh, synth, go to edit, and click duplicate. There. So what you do with the second track is you highlight it 
go to effect and change pitch. For SD10's case, you're going to lower this, I think, five semitones. This will create, uh, forgive me, I'm not really a music guru, but I'll just give you kind of the ports rundown for most sirens. 690 is almost always going to be your high tone. For 2T22, lower it 3. For an SD10, in this case, lower it 5. For a for P50 or ACA Cyclone, lower it 7. Okay. I just lowered it 5, and this will be an SD10. There, so it kind of sounds like one, but it doesn't have that really buzzy kind of just undertone that most SD10s would have. So, duplicate your low tone side. And what we're going to do is going to lower that by 12 semitones or one octave to give it kind of a roar. This won't work for Thunderbolts though. So, just keep in mind, don't try this with Thunderbolts. I might do a Thunderbolt Siren later. They're kind of unique among Siren Synthing. Might want to quiet it down. It's not necessary for it to be that loud. I mean, I'm talking about the low, the low-pitched undertones. And all you want to do is highlight your entire wind down. Go to effects, click fade out. This gives it the kind of essence that it's quieting, it's winding down, and at the same time it's quieting down. Now you want to highlight your wind down, even though it's already kind of getting louder as it goes, you still just kind of want to fade it in for realism. Click fade in. That sounds good. I don't want to keep doing this. It's a little loud. It might annoy some people. So now you want to do is you want to prep the siren sound from what I like to call kind of weathering to make it sound more realistic. Go to effects and go to low pass filter. Right there. Set this to 12 decibels. This is really a siren ambience, not a siren itself. Uh... I'm just good with making ambience and not, you know, siren itself, but should sound okay. I mean, you know, it's better than a raw sawtooth synth, which I see many people do. This will sound a little more washed up. Lower your undertone to wherever you think it's good. sounds like a realistic SD10. Now I'm going to cut the video off at this moment because this is going to take two minutes to do. Now I'm going to apply the echo. Go to echo. You want to set your delay time to all point 15, no 25. 15 seconds and you want your decay factor to be about 4, 0.4. I'm going to cut the video off now because this is going to take two minutes. I'll just upload it as a second part.